We are the oldest private psychiatric hospital in the state of Wisconsin. It started as a small farmhouse uh, in 1884 on a bluff overlooking the confluence of the Menominee River and the Honey Creek. Legend has it that the Menominee Indians were here and that they were settling here because of the magic healing powers. It's not the bricks and mortar, it's the vibe, it's the personality, it's the, the love and affection that people feel when they come to treatment here. The reality is one in four of us will have some sort of a mental health problem at some point in our lifetime. It's a rare person who doesn't know somebody or love somebody who has uh, either mental health or addictions. The things that we're really trying to do is to help break down the stigma. I think the stigma has really caused people to go into this darkness and stay in this darkness much longer than they would have have to. Well, when people come here, oftentimes they are at the lowest point in their life. I was at a point where I told my mom, I don't know who I would be without an eating disorder. I had lost my sense of self, didn't know anymore what was important to me because I was so consumed by negative thoughts about myself judgments and the idea that it wouldn't get any better. Started getting involved with the wrong crowd and doing using the wrong things and it just kind of brought me to the low point where I didn't know if I was going to make it. It was emotional. I didn't think my daughter was even going to graduate. I thought there was no hope. I would hit the walls, go crazy, and then my mom she would be, at first, she will be terrified, and then next thing you know, she just, she just like becomes hopeless. All you care about is getting high, getting drunk every day. That mental obsession is always there. My parents, they just pretty much came to terms with the fact that their son is very well to end up in jail or dead. Mental illness and addiction don't just affect one person. They affect the entire family, they affect schools, they affect churches, they affect everything that goes on in our community. And there are no socioeconomic bounds. I treat many upstanding uh, people, doctors, teachers, uh, successful uh, college students who get caught up in the throes of addiction. We see people every day who come in here feeling pretty hopeless, helpless, and worthless, who really leave here shining. There are so many people that are struggling with depression, anxiety, eating disorders, addictions in this country, and I'm very proud to be working with Aurora and um, helping people overcome these struggles. Aurora made a huge difference in my life and in my recovery specifically. I learned to accept difficult emotions, difficult feelings, that it is okay to take care of myself, it's okay to ask for help, and without those tools and skills, I wouldn't be where I am today. One of the things that I'm very proud about here is the Lighthouse on Dewey Project. It's a very well-known fact that one of the most important parts of somebody recovering from addiction problems is the support they get from the community. Just being able to go there and know it's going to be a safe place and find somebody that cares about my thoughts and feelings. It's a place for them to meet their peers who have walked the walk with them in recovery and to build healthy, sober, social relationships. I wouldn't change the path we chose. Bradwell has changed our lives, changed my daughter's life. I would do without Cradwell. You know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have this awesome opportunity to get this individual help and being able to uh, excel so much in my learning. We have many stories of students that have gone out and just uh, done wonderful things with their lives when it was clear that they were going to probably fail if they had stayed in the mainstream school systems. I think one of the unique things about our program is that we have such a large outpatient component. 
Outpatient service is the best thing that ever happened. They taught me a whole lot of coping skills, so now me and my mom are on great terms. Aurora has really stepped forward as a leader in having a robust behavioral health program. We draw from as far away as uh, Green Bay, Oshkosh, uh, the entire Aurora footprint. And I appreciate everything that Aurora has done for me. I can say I'm at my best point in my life right now. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You can have a life beyond your wildest dream. Recovery is possible, not just for me, but for others. There is a light in my life.